guys it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics and so guys we have an imminent Caribbean threat a potential tropical cyclone 5 and it is expected to become tropical storm Elsa by tonight and so guys before I go into details with this video Alright guys, and so let us take a look at the satellite imagery of our invest, uh, previously known invest rather, which is now a potential tropical cyclone. So we can expect this be designated the name Elsa later today. And so at this time looking at satellite view, we're seeing here that the system is getting more and more organized guys. It is going to be strengthening as it is going to be making its way toward the Caribbean and making its way into the Eastern Caribbean. And so guys, there are some watches that are in place. So let's go now to the National Hurricane Center's Cone of uncertainty and so here we have it and the sustained winds of our potential tropical cyclone is 35 miles per hour and it is acceleration to the west northwest at 21 miles per hour and so expecting that by friday this thing here is going to be in the vicinity of the lesser entities and what you're seeing in yellow is a tropical storm watch that is in effect for saint vincent and the grenadines saint lucia barbados Martinique and so guys that means that tropical storm like conditions are possible within about 48 hours and so elsewhere in the Windward Islands the Leeward Islands the Virgin Islands Puerto Rico the Dominican Republic and Haiti should monitor the progress of the system and so the total rainfall amounts that are possible as a result of this system is about three to six inches with maximum totals of eight inches on Friday across the Windward and Southern Leeward Islands including Barbados and this could potentially trigger flash flooding and mudslides and so guys by uh, maybe late Saturday going into Sunday this thing here is going to be in the vicinity of the greater Antilles and so Jamaica, Cuba, Hispaniola and even the Cayman Islands uh, especially on Sunday will be impacted by what is going to be tropical storm Elsa at that time so as of right now we're not expecting it to be a hurricane in the Caribbean but it is likely going to be emerging into the Gulf of Mexico, doing so early next week on Monday. And I'm seeing something here. The track uh, expected through the Caribbean is a bit similar to that of Laura last year, guys. I don't know if you guys remember, but this was somewhat of a similar track. And I was just reminiscing on the time when Laura actually made its way uh, in our vicinity in Jamaica. was just north of us, but it caused some serious damage. There were some power outages, very strong winds, and some heavy rainfall as a result of Laura and so this could be something that could cause those same impacts if not potentially worse and again guys Jamaica is in that cone forecast even though the center is going to pass north that is just the center of the system it does not show the size and especially because it is going to be crossing over land it is going to be getting a little bit disorganized especially if there are a lot of mountains around so we can expect that rainfall being even more widespread guys so heads up for Elsa when she's going to be making her way across the Caribbean and so guys let's look at what our models are expecting in terms of the potent intensity and so here we have it all agreeing on this being a tropical storm most probably saying a hurricane uh, we have two expecting actually three expecting a cat two one is expecting a major category three hurricane and so uh, I think there is the potential for a hurricane after the system makes its way into the Gulf. But sometimes when we have systems surprising us becoming hurricanes is when they're in their early stage. So even though the maximum sustained winds expected for the system when it is going to be in the Caribbean is just 60 miles per hour, I wouldn't be surprised if it is a hurricane in the vicinity of the Greater Antilles, maybe before it moves in that space between Haiti, Cuba, and Jamaica, guys. And so again, guys, even though there are no watches in place for the Greater Antilles yet, I would say that if you're there, please keep an eye on the system. So it is going to be an interesting weekend to see the outcome of this. And early next week, or well later down into next week, when the system moves into the Gulf, that is another story to tell. But as of right now, guys, remember that the system is still quite far out in the Atlantic and things can change. Changes are inevitable with this system. So we have to wait and see. But as of right now, if you're in the Lesser Antilles, you will be impacted by this. This is no longer a question. You will feel the impacts from this. And so as a result, I'm urging you all to take necessary precautions and stay safe. And if you're there, you're likely being impacted by uh, 
invest 95 l let's go to the satellite imagery of that quickly and so here we have the the rainfall is quite widespread across the lesser Antilles. so if you're in some of the islands you're probably experiencing some very heavy rainfall as a result of the system and so this system is going to be making its way across the caribbean and it could even bring some impacts to the greater Antilles, maybe foreshadowing what's to come in terms of what is going to be tropical storm elsa and so guys looking at the favorability for us to have 97 l uh, intensifying i keep saying 97 l but it's really potential tropical cyclone 5 now so in terms of the ocean temperatures we do have them being very favorable especially in the gulf and the western caribbean and they will be just supportive in order to help tropical cyclone to intensify quickly and so as i said i wouldn't be surprised if we have a hurricane as of right now it is not expected to be one but it is going to be somewhat close to being at hurricane intensity let's look at the wind shear map and so the different colors here mean different shear intensity so we have the blues uh, the greens and the yellows meaning that fair shear right there are nothing much to impact our system as we head on to the oranges the reds uh, getting a bit strong and it's going to be causing some trouble for the system but as we progress uh, to those deeper reds and that pinkish shade that is when things are highly unfavorable for us to have intensification of systems and so we're seeing in the Caribbean that the environment is going to be relatively favorable to support our system to develop further and intensify significantly and so guys if you live in a flood prone area you want to be somewhere that is safe somewhere elevated and sturdy building so that should in case some those strong winds are there and usually when you see the maximum intent the maximum sustained winds the gusts are higher sometimes maybe up to hurricane force and so Ensure that you're not in a flood prone area, which is an area that is easily inundated whenever it rains. Ensure that you're not near the coast, not near the beach. You want to avoid being on the road uh, when the system is going to be affected in your area because, of course, there is going to be that threat of the storm surge, which is the inland flooding as a result of the winds pushing the seawater on shore. So, guys, I'm urging you all, please prepare please stay safe this brewing elsa could seriously surprise us and i want us to all be prepared for the system and so that is it for this update's video and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always weatherwise and of course i will keep you updated as time goes by